The amount of money spent on salaries and allowances on members of parliament a month in Uganda could be slightly above 4 billion shillings beginning the financial year 2021-2022. And this is because of the numbers of parliamentarians scheduled to be in the parliament of Uganda for the term 2021-2026. Statistics show that the Ugandan parliament could have over 520 members of parliament who monthly will part away with over 20 million shillings monthly meaning an ordinary Ugandan will have to pay such allowances for these politicians. Exclusively speaking to the Nakawa East member of parliament-elect Ronald Nsubuga Balimwezo, one of the issues on his menu while in parliament is to ensure that these numbers of parliamentarians is reduced with an aim of saving money that could be used in other useful things such as constructing of roads, schools among others. He says further Ugandans need more of service delivery other than more representation in a house that barely discusses constructive issues. Where Uganda is, we spend quite a lot of money on uh, the welfare of MPs and what our people need as service delivery. The amount of money expended on an MP alone can build a school and what our people need are schools, hospitals with medicine. And this money that we shall save from the reduction of MPs can construct those schools. So that's what I'm seeing. Can we basically have Nakawa with one MP? Can't we degazette one of the um, of the, 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 the constituency and make it one? Balimwezo also clarifies how the parliament passed certain laws that indeed could be serving the same issues and such laws like the rental tax that goes to URA and local government rental taxes that are exorbitant, saying that these laws should be harmonized so as people don't feel the pinch while paying these taxes. The Local Government Rating Act that brings in effect property tax, a, 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 a tax that is charged from a house, on a house. And we also have another tax, the rental tax that goes to URA. These are two taxes from one single house. So it's important to harmonize these taxes so that people don't feel stretched. And as a member of parliament, I'm going to make sure that we streamline, we harmonize those two taxes so that people don't feel the pinch. That's my role. And uh, I've uh, had many, many people in the community trying to uh, fight the two taxes. It's important to pay taxes but uh, we need to streamline, streamline those laws. Being a parliamentarian from one of the constituencies that make up Kampala City, Balimwezo believes government pays little attention in terms of budget allocations, yet over 60% of the taxes that make up the national budget come from Kampalans. He therefore says government should allocate more money in the budget for Kampala to have the infrastructure maintained and developed. Kampala contributes over 70% in fact, six, over 65 percent to the national GDP, but only receives back less than three percent, which money is not enough to make the city the way it should look. And as a leader, I think I need to see Kampala look like a city, like the face of Uganda. And as such, I'm going to make sure that we look better appropriation so that Kampala can get better road infrastructure, better hospitals, better schools. Kampala City has 10 members of parliament with only 8 as new entrants in the coming parliament. Brian Senkumba, Channel 44 Prime News.